The Y chromosome, as renowned evolutionary biologist David Page told me, fell asleep at the wheel 200 million years ago and was headed toward the cliff. But Page and others have now learned that suddenly, about 20 million years ago, the Y woke up and veered away from the cliff, repairing itself with duplicates of its own genes. Page deduced that the Y said to itself, I don't have a lot left, but what I have left, I'm going to keep. While the Y was shrinking, the X, formerly considered a staid, pristine relic, was growing larger and stronger, acquiring new bunches of genes, some of which play roles in producing sperm. So all those centuries when you guys were asleep at the wheel, we were tinkering under the hood. 